Okay, we're on. So oh, let's just keep working on this one here. I call it Soul. I don't know if that's going to be the final name, but right now that's what we're going with. So yeah, work on this one. This is, as you know, my night. I have to get up real early in the morning, so I have to be kind of. I won't post until tomorrow, probably. Oh, I need to do. Move that forward. There we go. Turn off the phone so it doesn't ring right smack in the middle of this. Do it again. Oh, hey, Mark. How's it going? All right. So tonight's my get to bed night. on that sky back there too needs a lot of work to it very thin paint hey how's it going anthony yeah i guess we kind of might have to switch out some paintings because i've sold a few and i'm going to be out there uh, oh, what day am I going to be? Thursday, I'm meeting my, my high school friend. She was in my art classes, and when we were in high school together, she's moved to Portland. So we're going to get together and have dinner, and uh, she wants to look at the art there at, at uh, Sissy. So we're looking forward to it. Yeah, and then I'll get to, give, it gives me a good chance to see where we're at, too. What I have to do. I gotta remind myself that I got the other uh, show coming up, Scandals, and that's coming up. So I gotta be make sure I have enough for that too. I don't want to. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Jessica? That's more yellow here. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well. No, oh, I'm doing good. <laughs> Thank you. Get a little bit of a glitches in the that's not sign things or tell you 
had this computer for about four years. I, I would think it still should be doing good, but I've had friends say, yeah, well, be surprised. I'm looking for Mars, Mars, black, or not black, but uh, yellow, yellow. Cleaning up these edges. And a little bit of yellow here. Just giving it a feeling of uh, bends and stuff going on here. Whoa! <laughs> Cleaning these lines up. Good old sun going on here. There's a time of year that's nice to see sun again. <laughs> Got tired of it. it was so hot for a while there. And now, now it's like, okay, I, I'm getting tired of the rain. <laughs> it's cold here. It's actually clear and cold. So we actually we have a little fountain to let the bird fly, but uh, we have to uh, drain it when it goes down. When it starts going into the 20s at night, I, we have to drain it because uh, we learned the hard way one time with a fountain, uh, ice cracks, uh, concrete, big time. I, it, it's amazing to see the uh, uh, power of uh, uh, ice. I don't know if you remember that one movie, I, I think I've mentioned this before, where they showed New York being flooded and then suddenly freezing, and none of those buildings would have stayed upright. They would have just crushed them. Yeah, you don't realize how powerful ice is. It moves horizontally. And so that means it pressures out. It doesn't go up and out. It goes out that way. And it just crushes everything in its path. Going into some kind of a hectic time here. I'm visiting my parents here. Uh, I'm taking a couple days off next week, and then then all the Thanksgiving stuff. <laughs> Man. What is it with the holidays? We just cram it all in, don't we? Ugh. Change this one up a little bit. 
caught in my cell phone conversation. I'm don't worry. <laughs> Hey, you got that concert coming up. All right, I know it's a Monday, I think, right? Brown, I don't want brown. Rinse, rinse, rinse. A little more blue than that. Blue, a little more blue. So I add some magenta to this too. Cleaning up this sky. Probably right in the way, aren't I? <laughs> more unpronounceable blue by unpronounceable blue right there see if you can even see it <laughs> oh It dries up, I'll tell you that one. Try not to put too much out at a time. That way I don't waste a lot of paint. And I'll tell you, when you look at the cost of paint, you don't want to waste too much. Least amount as possible. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I tell you, when you go to order your paint or you go go to an art store, you're just like, oh, yeah. When you're like, well, yeah, I just you know, that's why I use this uh, type of uh, palette that uh, uh, seals back up because I save quite a bit of money doing that. It's like a big giant Tupperware, what it is. Moisten that paint down and save quite a bit. Yeah, it's cleaning things up here. Like I said, this is my night. I have to Behave myself. Hey, maybe she made it on. All right. <laughs> Yay.
get out of your way here so you can see. Whoa, I know it was all kind of excited again. Okay. I don't either. I, 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 I have, I've been trying to figure that out, and I can't come up with an answer for you. You know, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't think they have, like, a max amount that could be watching. I, I'm not aware of that. No idea. You know, and I tried Facebook again, then, then Facebook did another wonderful uh, freeze on me. And as you guys saw, the F bombs. <laughs> oh. The thing I like about Facebook is the fact that it sends out a reminder automatically, lets people know that I'm on. But uh, then there's the other bad uh, things I don't like about it. And so, yeah. I'll figure this all out before um, <laughs> I die. <laughs> now I got the carnival of the animals going through my head. Merrick, it's all your fault. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I, I've, I've looked that up. Yeah, there's. So it's, it's not like, well, Mike, you you can see that you're uh, low total for the month. <laughs> that's not. That's not been the case. I don't know why. It's weird. Cleaning all everything up right now. That's what we're doing. I'll do a little work on the land too. Yeah, probably won't get done with it tonight, but I, I should, should I should be able to be done with it tomorrow. I think uh, unless something comes up, you know. But and I won't have Empire Thursday this uh, week, uh, nor the following week, nor the following week. It was going to it's going to get about a three week rest here because this Thursday I'm meeting a friend. Yeah, you know, my art friend, but she was in my art school, or not art school, but my uh, art class there in high school. Chuck Nas, our glorious art teacher. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a long time ago, I'll tell you. Chuck Nas. I had never realized he had been a uh, fighter pilot in the Korean War. I almost wonder if he was kind of like um, Bob Ross. He wanted to be, you know, teach something that's pleasant, you know, uh, an art was great. You know, what's so sad is so many uh, schools have actually done away with their art classes. And I said, you know, Part of the, the huge success of the United States is the fact that we have uh, allow uh, creativity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I don't. I just don't know why it's causing that. Weird. I 
I'll be walking to our light rail in the morning. It's supposed to be like 28 degrees. That's going to be, I'm going to have my gloves on, that's for sure. <laughs> And the other end where I get off the max, thank goodness it's not very far from my building, but I um, uh, it, the wind whips through there, so I'm going to really have to have my stocking cap on and everything. That's cold. It's just amazing how fast it went from 80s here to uh, uh, the winter. Yeah, I wonder if it works at all. I mean, looking at some of this uh, AI-generated art, it's almost scary. I had a friend show me it, and it's just like, you know, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> but I always say there's there's nothing replacing but just the pure, pure fun of just sitting there put the paintbrush to the darn uh, canvas. There's just, I don't know, I don't think that'll ever be totally replaced. Because it is, it's just fun. You want to photograph, get a photograph, you know, and there's nothing wrong with photographs. There's some beautiful photographs out there, but there's just something about the, it's the uh, de-stressing of doing this. Could have had a rough day and add a little bit of uh, paint into a canvas and there, relax. You could say sometimes get yourself a glass of wine or whatever it takes, you know, and just enjoy yourselves. That's too blue. That's too blue. A little more purple in that. A little more. A little more. A little more. <laughs> well, by the way, just in case you were wondering, I'm not the winner of that $2.04 billion jackpot. You know, that wasn't me. Sorry. I had to call up the uh, the yacht company, you know, and tell them to stop construction. I, uh, tell you what. <laughs> I don't, you know, to be honest with you, I don't think I'd want to win that. That's just too much. You know, you're an immediate target. And not only are you an immediate target, but your family is immediate target. Your friends are a target, you know, and that's, I don't think I'd want to win that much because anybody who thinks that's going to be uh, a, a winner's kept secret, that's, that's almost impossible. Not when it's that type of uh, amount of money. I, I don't know. I just, I, uh, I don't think I'd want to do that. I just, that's too much. It's, you know, yeah, a few million would be awesome. But when you're talking about, when you're going over a billion, and when the person, let's say they take the lump sum payment, that's a billion. They actually get a billion. Well, you know, and that is a tremendous amount of money. I mean, that's really, a billion is way more money than most of the richest uh, people in the world have. Because they they they're worth a few billions, but they're not necessarily have a billion in the in the in the in the old bank there. So that's just I don't know. I I, I really think it, it, it maybe end up be a worse burden than you can imagine. Then then of course you have every uh, single Tom Dick and crap head come out of the uh, uh, woodwork, and uh, you know before you know it, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I want that.
there are some very, very evil people out there that know exactly how to get that money from you. And they don't care who they hurt in the process. I think so, yeah. That's just so much money. I got, I read an article a few years ago, and they said, like, the absolute best lotto to win is something like around $50 million. And they, the reason why they come up that way, they say, it's not the big one, so you don't, nobody really cares. Uh, you're set for life, you know, obviously. Even after they take their chunk out of it and stuff like that, you're set. But but when you're talking a billion something, wow, that's I, I, I wonder if those people are going to be wondering what the heck happened. There would actually be a temptation to take, like, uh, oh, let's say take 80% uh, of it, you know, and donate it to some charity of some sort, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that is. I mean, that's a, that's a life changer and a half. Just cleaning up this uh, odd sky that I have. This is different than I normally do. I have done the Celtic Sun way in the, a few years ago, but uh, I just thought it'd be something fun to do. And if I get it done tomorrow, I'll, I'll be able to have it in the uh, courage truck because this would kind of fit their motif. Dun -dun 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 -dun. More blue. True blue. There's nothing but true. Okay. Then you'll have those family members that uh, you didn't even know existed come out of the woodwork. <laughs> Ah, yeah, I'm your long lost uncle. I know you never heard of me, but <laughs> here I am. <laughs> and so many people think money would just cure everything for them, and now, especially that amount, that could create more problems than. You can imagine. Remember, we had a elderly couple that one they when Washington State joined the Mega Million thing, and they ended up winning it. And it was it was a, nothing like what we have today, but uh, it was still sizable. And they told they said that they had received ninety five pounds of junk mail uh, that week. All these charities, all these places, just trying to get your money, you know. Uh, first thing you'd have to do is probably move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
that's good. Yeah, my rule of thumb, if it's a big jackpot, if I'm at a place where there's no line, then I'll buy one, you know? But I will never stand in line for one. I'll never buy more than one. I, I never buy uh, two, three, uh, because it, the odds are so absurd that uh, you don't have a chance at heck, you know? So uh, I, I, used to, I used to work at this trucking company years and years and years ago. And um, they, uh, I had a mechanic that would spend $100, and this is in the early 90s dollars, uh, uh, $100 a week uh, uh, trying to win the lotto. And I, I told him, I said, you know, you, you, you're not increasing your odds at all. You know, is it hardly at all? You know, he just looked at me like I was the most stupid person on the planet. And and I was trying to show him the sheer odds of winning were so extreme that you really haven't improved your odds over somebody who's just buying one ticket. And then you always have the ones that, oh, he's got to have their numbers, you know. And I, I said, now, <laughs> I said, if you look at the statistics, it's just simply um, uh, random pick and go. You know? <laughs> oh, well. My, my attitude is kind of fun to maybe play $1 on it or something like that. It allows you, as a $1 allowing you to dream, you know, for a little bit. But but seriously, this thing was so big, it was kind of like, no, that's too big. Okay. A little more white than that. A little more magenta here. Oh, I know. If you uh, if you put that one hundred dollars a week into the bank, you would actually have a sizable savings account built up. You know, and I just it was just so sad, and he just knew he just knew his numbers were going to come up. You know, so oh no, I don't. I'm pretty positive they never did. I haven't worked for that company for years, but uh, it was one of those jobs that I got fired from. Probably the best thing ever happened to me. <laughs> oh, they're a horrible, horrible company to work for. They had absolutely no problem uh, getting at midnight on a Saturday, you know, having to get a truck up off the side of the road somewhere, you know, and, and you're just sitting there going, and oh, of course they never paid you for that. You know, that would just came with the job. Horrible. It was just horrible. I wonder, I, I know they've been since bought, you know, and a different company runs them, but I always wondered with that type of thinking, what would it be like today with cell, our cell phones and, and stuff? Oh gosh, I can't even begin to imagine. Have to get your laptop up and running, and you need to do some work, Mr. Trap. You know, <laughs> well, we're not paying you for it. Too bad. Gosh. No, 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 do do. I think I. The best I have ever done, I won four numbers. I can remember that, and I won $21. And to tell you how much I do lotto, that I'm probably still in the profit mode. And that was, uh, I won that years ago. <laughs> I, I, I would be surprised over a period of uh, 30 years, I probably have only spent uh, maybe, you know, 30 maximum amount of dollars. That's probably, that's probably max. <laughs> Uh, well, I've been to Vegas a few times. It's been it's been a while since I've been back there, but um, uh, it was so, so sad when you saw the really hardcore gambler too. Just knew their money was going to come up. Uh, there's a some. Uh, gambling machines that are at that bar I go to. I haven't I haven't played anything, but I used to have a little game with myself. 
how long can I make $5 last? <laughs> sometimes it was 30 seconds and sometimes, oh, okay, good. I got to spin the wheel a couple of times. That's about it, you know. Blue moon, boo 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 blue moon. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, it is sad. I don't anticipate myself facing half the how am I going to give away all that money? I <laughs> oh, probably have to have a team of lawyers too on top of it. Just cleaning up all this here. Don't know why that song's going through my head. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I uh, I just go along a few years ago. I'd go down there, and it was nice going down there. And primarily went down there for no other reason than to sit around the pool. They had some very nice pools. And literally, that's what it was a melt the mold of mildew that had built up in your body here in Portland, you know. And, and so, but you know what was, in my opinion, what's really sad is what's happened to Vegas is when we first go, went down there, it was still ran pretty good by the mafia. <laughs> and, and then it became corporate. And what used to be, one time used to get to like cheap drinks and stuff like that, not anymore. Man, I mean, I couldn't believe how expensive it had gotten. And it was kind of sad. And you you pay $22 for a rum and coke. That is ridiculous. And I can only imagine it's gone up in price. That used to be kind of a cheap uh, weekend getaway. Not anymore. It's that greed. Old fashioned greed. <whistles> Add a little white to that. Mike got off on his tangents here. It's a little too dark. Yeah, there we go. Sold at some gas station, and that gas station got a million dollars just because they they sold the winning ticket. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember talking to a cab driver. He said you'd see people going down the sidewalk with their luggage. They didn't even have enough money left to uh, afford a cab to the airport. 
Isn't that something? Ours an ad addiction when you're doing that. that up just a bit. Okay. There we go. Um, <laughs> yep. Well, when you get into that set of mind that uh, you're your number is just going to come up. You just know it. You just know it. You know? Yeah, that's when it's time to really stop. Just cleaning these lines up. That's what I'm doing. Probably, probably wondering. Go that way and then down. My big fat head's probably in the way. <laughs> What a do 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 but I remember they had, uh, Jack Klugman was their uh, uh, guest, and uh, he Jack Klug, Klugman was known for um, uh, kind of gambling. Also, he had the uh, he even had a racehorse, I think, and everything. It was called Quincy, the name of the racehorse, I believe. But uh, they had a, a guy come down and sit next to him, and and I think it was Merv Griffin says, "Do you know who that is?" And Jack Klugman sat there and just stared at him. And then finally it dawned on him who it was. He says, you're that, that lucky SOB that put in one quarter and got $250,000 on the machine, aren't you? <laughs> I know it's funny. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll come back in here with the tree here. And I want to put some flowering on the tree, too. I kind of want to brighten up that tree. It's not going to be just a stark uh, winter tree here. And a little more this, a little more of that. A little more white. And a little more purple. Which answer that is? We're gonna clean those. What do they call the flares that come out of the sun? I'll tell you when uh, I used to, we'd have a screensaver. When it comes to this time of year, it was this great uh, screensaver. It was a, a, a satellite picture of. This huge flare coming out of the sun. <laughs> oh, that's that's not a bad trait there. I'll tell you what. Oh, I, I can remember when I first went down to Vegas and I I, I lost a certain amount. I said, okay, that could I could that could have been a nice shirt or something like that. That's just a waste. And so, uh, but. I remember, like I said, the Vegas trip was mostly uh, just going down to warm up after the cold, uh, miserable spring here. And we'd, it was kind of a common practice for us to go down there. Um, oh, like uh, Memorial Day, that would be it. And so that was kind of nice for that. And you know, I can remember one year we had had such a miserably cold, even into the summer, and uh, went... Uh, Went down there and it was 108 degrees and it felt fantastic because it had been so doggone uh, miserably cold that summer. And that was in July. That, that July, we 
I, I think I set an all-time cold record for, I mean, we had days that didn't get up, up out of the 50s. It was like, good grief. But even a bum bum. Oh, God. Yeah, getting that cleaned up now. It was the goal today and a little bit of work on the sun and we get this. I think I think we have a doggone good chance of getting done with this tomorrow. I hope so. Like I said, it'd be nice to I gotta do some work when I get home tomorrow. So I got I gotta get some edges painted again. Like I said, it's easy to fall behind that and then also when you need it, you're like get, get off that lazy rear end, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty desperate if you're playing slots while you're, you're doing your business on the toilet. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to post an updated pay, uh, picture of this tomorrow. Like I said, I've learned... Uh, with me having to be, you know, kind of hit the bed, you know, early, it's, it's best that I, you know, not run around and try to get things done. I just crawl into bed and call the night. Well, well, when I get home, probably do a posting of this about, uh, oh, about five o'clock tomorrow. Pacific time. That's eight o'clock for you, Anthony. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know about you in that bathroom. I don't think I'd want to touch the keys on that thing either. Ugh. I remember old days when you actually used to have to pull the uh, lever. And I, not a lot of people didn't realize that they have the recording of uh, sound like money being dumped to all oh, the ding ding ding. All that was is make sure, oh, people are winning. You know, it gets you enticed. Yeah, that's true. A little tricks. I remember I used to work at this one place and uh, uh, I had one guy that loved Vegas and but he loved to burn up all of his sick leave and everything. And, uh, I remember one time uh, he actually had shared leave and uh, shared leave. I mean, somebody donated sick, sick leave to him and he called in one time and I said, you know, I'll call him Bob. I won't even use his name. And I said, you know, when you call in sick to me, I would suggest you go up to your hotel room because I could hear wheel of fortune in the background. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. All right. Any, any, uh, any subject matter that you're thinking about? Hey, one more time to go, but I have to wrap it up here pretty soon. Uh, I always have to get kind of serious about uh, uh, keeping the schedule here for Tuesday nights. 3.30 in the morning, that's usually when I get up. It's like, oh, a lot of people are just going to bed. You're a night owl. I know that, uh, Anthony. So are you, Merrick.
Hello, Donna. How you doing? Donna's here. Time to go. <laughs> yeah, I'll be on just a few more minutes and yeah. Fill that in just a little more and I'll like call it tonight for a while. Yeah, it's going to really be almost uh, three weeks where the Empire painting sits. That's just what it is. Unless I change it to Saturday for a little while, I don't know. I gotta keep an eye on how many paintings I have available for scandals and then also more for sissy. So a couple bars. I'm a bar person, I show bar at bars. <laughs> yeah. Do this. There. Okay. Well, that note, yeah, almost there. Okay. <laughs> Come back into the new the brush. <laughs> wow, well, that's some traveling is right. Jeez, wow. <sighs> Doing it at night on top of it is even worse. Clean these all up. I think we'll be done tomorrow. Yep. Old Saul here. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a Luna painting too. Okay. Well, we've made some progress here, and I think we, Sarah said, I think we've got a good chance of being done tomorrow. That's going to be the goal. You even have to stay on just a little longer. I'm going to clean these up, too. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Stay healthy, stay safe. Oh, have a great rest of your evening or day or wherever you're located on this big planet. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I plan to be back on tomorrow, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be here. And then Thursday, uh, the Empire's put on the, kept uh, off the easel. So 
Um, Saturday, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on. So we'll, uh, I got Veterans Day coming up too. So who knows, maybe I'll even paint on that day. I, I don't know, might just do that. All right, you take care. Uh, hope, hope to see you next time. All right, boy, boy. <laughs> Do 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 do. I must. Do 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 do.